All right, people, welcome back. One more vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday. We're using you about seeds. So you guys get two daily duels now. Yep, on Wednesdays, on Wednesdays. So, you know, before this video, two hours before this video, you get a daily duels. And then two hours after this video, you get a daily duels. So, but make sure you watch them both. All right. So uh, using you about seeds, which is arguably the deck that got hit hurt the most from the Wobble Chain being banned. Is because I like to send, you know, I need to send all the monsters on multiple levels and, you know, this hand is garbage, but, you know, it'd be great if I had a level chain. You know, I could discard special, discard send, I wrote a search for Armageddon and I send, go into the level chain, send, but, no, I can't. No, I can't. And I, I wish I, I wish I did. I wish I did. I, I hate you, Konami. I hate you so fucking much for banning the level chain. I, I, I thought I'd be okay with it, but I hate it. I hate it so much, so, of course, just like every other Ubel deck, I'm playing, you know, uh, Mystic Tomatoes and shit. At least I got Dark Reffer. At least I got Dark Reffer, so at least I can send Ubel and Level Eater, and then I can use my message in a bottle, but just, like, open up with, you know, I would love to just go ahead and send that additional level. You know, go into a level chain, send an additional level, see? Because I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight, which is totally good, and then, then what, you know? Then what? I can send that second level here, that'd be nice, so, you know, what's the point? And I said, oh, I guess, I guess I have another enabler, which is nice, so, let's just go into that other enabler. King of Fire Lens, what, he's gonna be banned next from being a fucking rank 4 enabler? I said, there's not enough of them. There's not! And banning level level chain, he was the number one, and you banned him, so. I hope it was worth it. Like I said, let's just see worlds. I said I want to see worlds, especially with you know, you know, wavering eyes is banned and and uh, what else? What else? Anything? Anything from? Oops. Phone always going off. What? Anything from fucking uh, from Clash Rebellion is banned. So no wavering eyes, no chicken race. Uh, and of course, of course, duel against fucking. Oh, let me go ahead and see my next card and fucking admit defeat. Cause once again, just like fucking yesterday. People using meta and fucking unrated. I can't stand that shit. Like, let's have fun. I don't want to do it. If I wanted to do meta, I would do against meta, don't you think? I would simply just go ahead and go to fucking, uh, play and go in Death Pro. I would play, I would play, I would go to rated. I would go in rated. If I wanted to do against meta, I would just do in rated. Like, I clearly don't want to do against meta and I'm rated. Yeah, that seems like what I face. Like, is this uh, how it's going to go down? Like, before I... Before, like, what, five, ten minutes into the fucking video before I can fucking get a decent duel? Sucks. It really sucks. Like, seems like, but I mean, why not? Why not go ahead and run and start playing meta and unrated? Because it's not like Konami wants you to use non meta. It's not like they want you to use unrated shit. They fucking hit fucking. Oh, great. Great. Alright. Here we go. Fucking chicken race. Here we go. Yep. See? And this is the reason why you couldn't just put it down to one. You had to fucking ban it. Because if you let it at one, you still got Summer Monk, which is ostensibly still three. You have to ban this shit. But no. 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 So. Like I said, this is exactly the same shit that happens all the fucking time. It sucks. I don't. I don't want. I don't want it to come down to this. I don't. I actually want to actually fucking record and bring quality videos. But literally, we begin every single episode of fucking what the same shit yesterday, the same shit fucking yesterday. Begin the episode of I'm and Why with meta, meta, something sacky. Go fucking play some fucking skill drink, caveman, Yu Gi Oh, and it's just like damn. Like damn, can I actually get a fucking duel on? Oh my god, man. Like I said, you box these without a little chain, it might just be dead. It just seems too slow. It just seems like I can't get set up quick enough. I thought the missing of the level chain didn't hurt too much, but apparently it did. We'll just go ahead and take the duel slow. Hopefully not duel against anything meta. Or Saki. Okay. So at least we can at least we have some plays. 
So we'll go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight, go ahead and send bell. Okay. Okay, well, Armageddon Knight can handle you. <laughs> You Okay. Okay. Go ahead and gain a hundred and stop the say. Like well, well, wait, one, you already attacked, so you don't get an additional attack. You already killed my tomato, so it's not like you can attack again. Why would you? You know if you could, could you lose the battle and take a hundred? So that's why I was like, what? what are you doing? I'm confused. I'm 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 confuzzled. Well, I can go ahead and summon Mask Camellia, Mask King, and summon back you, Bell, Galaxy Queen's Light, make them all ten and go into Adora. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Let's have fun with you, Galaxies, or at least attempt to. Okay. Hmm. I always get another one. I guess I'll attack, attack, and then go ahead and uh, go into King of the Feral Imps. Unless, of course, he has another Mirror Force. And he does. Alright. Alright. So, this seems like this duel is already going to get annoying. Another effect failure? Okay. Go ahead and send level leader. So we still got our metal reflex line, so that's nice. Like I said, I could go into a door right now with the metal reflex line. Let's just see if I can see that. I could. I could go into him, but why? I don't like him. So he banished a mirror force, had another mirror force, so. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Yeah, I know I know I can bring that card out. Just generally don't like to, because I just don't see the point. And of course he didn't have any banished monsters, so. This card Thunder Dragon get two Thunder Dragons? Okay, I guess. Never saw, really saw the point of playing Thunder Dragon unless you're deck setting. Unless you're gonna like, fuse them into what twin Thunder Dragon or double I forgot the name of the fusion is. No it has a fusion. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Oh, okay. You got this light card to banish one light monster from your deck, okay. Banish Honest? Okay. Hmm. Alright. So. Doing your opponent's battle phase once they control the season. Okay. 300 attacks, so. That's fine. Take that. 
that. Alright, drawing into the same exact shit that I was drawing to before, so. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and cry. Oh, wait, I can't. During your opponent's battle phase, monsters they control lose 300 attack, so. So I'll go ahead and summon you. Fat. Go ahead and send another level eater. It always sucks that I drew into the same exact shit I was going to be drawn to anyway, so. Hopefully the Metal Reflex line can pull something off. Sucks that I didn't get any fucking revival cards at all. Like, none. Take that. Take the 17, that's fine. No, oh, there we go. Let's go in reverse. Alright, so go ahead and activate Metal Reflex Slime, summon that back, summon Dark Reffer, level your eat two levels off. And uh, go into double Felgrand because I fucking can. As long as he doesn't have an Honest in his hand, I should be okay. Well, if he has an Honest in his hand, then I'm then I lose. So I might just go ahead and use double Felgrand effect on both of them and just kill them both. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Both level eater. Yeah, just in case he has an honest. All eight. Just in case, because if he has an honest, then I lose, so. There, yeah, Stanzi put up that video with Sylvan's double fell grand. Bam, double fell grand. So, go ahead and get the I knew you had an honest. That's why I did it. I knew you had it. It's a good job wasting your honest. You're unaffected by other card effects, including your own honest. So, good job. Like, I'm, I'm not that stupid. I'm not gonna just run into an honest and lose this duel like that. Like, no thank you. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and just go ahead and detach. I'm totally fine with that. So, one honest is banished, one honest is gray, that's it. That's not like honest went up to three, so. Did I turn, did I turn the duel around? Is that it? Double Felgran. Mm -hmm. You're going to go ahead and banish two. Select your target. Okay. That beautiful semicolon, so it's not unaffected. So is that it? Is that game? They're both honests are banished, so I don't even have to worry about honests again when I attack. Is that it? This is dole over. Okay. Wow. Wow. So bad. Make yourself unaffected. <sighs> My only problem is, of course, he's going to be fucking top decking into a monster. So if he has a monster at 1600 or higher, then I'm dead. So. Hmm. Hmm.
I wish I could make a fucking uh, Dora, but I can't. If I had a third Felgrand, <laughs> I only run two. Shit, I could run three. I could totally do it right now, but I need my level modulator. Hmm. I shouldn't have so much life points, so. He's top decking at this point. So, attack. Attack directly. So, let's see if he gets the monster. Because I could take his attack, so I need to do pretty much. Oh, I didn't even do that math. I could have won with fucking Mystic Tomato. Alright, well, if I lose this duel, it's my fault. So, he has to pretty much have a monster at 1600 or more. Because he's going to summon the monster, attack, and then noise. Yep, I think that's one of them. Yep, 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 he should have it. Yeah, he should have it. Great that bitch. Yep, yep, yep. My fault. I lost this duel. That was my fault. I misplayed. I, I should have done the math. I should have done the math. If I did the math, I would have won. I messed up. I could have won. I be. I fucked up. That was my fault. I lost that duel. I can't even be mad. I lost that duel. If I would have just simply just took the time to just simply do the math, I would have realized, yeah, he I would have won. So chill. I don't care. Just sitting there exploiting the living shit out of honest. Cause honest is stupid. Still stupid. Alright, we'll get one more duel in. Because I feel like getting one more duel in. This hand's actually pretty bad. Yeah, this hand's actually pretty bad. Opponent has no fucking extra deck, so I'm assuming I'm doing I'm going against something sacky. You know, something sacky or something please. Yeah. There's more monarchs. There's not a lot of decks that don't run a fucking extra deck. So either you're being sacky, you're being bad, a scrub, or you're just doing dueling, I don't know. Like, there should be no reason why you shouldn't have an extra deck unless specifically specified. Like, oh, I'm running Cleese, I don't need an extra deck. Or, oh, I'm running Monarchs, I don't need an extra deck. Or, oh, I'm using fucking Exodia, something sacky. You know? Or you're bad. You know? He's gonna go ahead and throw the, the Dark Hole at me. Like, okay, I guess. It's one of the things why I don't like running Mystic Tomato, because fucking Dark Hole is still... You know, all the destruction. You know, double Dark Hole, Regeki, Torrential, so, you know. Okay, I have no idea what you're doing. Still, I have no idea what you're doing. It's hard to, and you can tribute one. You can tribute one dragon type monster and one other pink type monster. Also, you can just cut one card. This card can turn attack and then. Destroy. Okay, I guess. So it's 3600. Okay, you went pretty balls deep with that, didn't you? Guess there's really no point in me setting these just because he's going to go ahead and destroy it, but if I can go ahead and make him neg, then I don't even care. Now, if you want to go ahead and use your effect, nope, let's just go ahead and set a card. Oh, Alright. Well, I can definitely fuck him up. Kill my tomato, summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send you Bell. Then I can go to Bray's Dragon, summon. Oh wow, he doesn't even want to fucking attack me. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Did I run you? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you. Foolish. I'll go ahead and send you bell. So hopefully you top deck into something that won't fuck you up, because I'm about to fuck... I will save you from me fucking you up. I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> Alright, so activate Call of the Haunted. Go ahead and summon you bell. Then I'll go level eater effect. Easter. Very effect. You off bell. No leader. Then I'll go. 
Oh, I start right. Uh, both nine. Oh, really? These two into Enterprise. Powerful Enterprise. So I'm also trying to get Tactics Simulator to turn aside. Banish one card from my opponent's controls. Banish one card from my opponent's hand. Banish one card from my opponent's graveyard. Banish the top card of their deck. So, effect to banish one card. Oop. Card you control. So when this card is sent from the field, they get I book 500 damage to my opponent. So that's fine. I will take the 500. Go ahead and slap you in the face for 29. Okay. So go ahead and summon a level four. I don't care. It's fine. Good. Oh, you're super down on resources. For instance, you have no fucking extra decks, so even if you draw into a level four, you can't even go to like a one or one or a cast out like the same. There's no reason for you not to have an extra deck, even with whatever you're running. No fucking reason. It's totally smart to go ahead and turn you can tactic to top in this card, then activate one of these effects. So it's not like fucking uh what's it called? I can still go ahead and activate the same effect. So drawing Phantom of Chaos, fucking number generator, it's like wow, give I me mean, all the cards at one. not like uh what's his name oh my god the evil swarm evil swarm i forgot his name i forgot his name oh my god what is his name fucking not Ophion. not the the one that's three level fours i forgot his name damn you're not flipped I'm gonna kill you, slap you in the face for 29. Go ahead. So still top decking. Too bad you just got greedy and threw that dark hole at me without even fucking thinking. You got super greedy. Now you're in a super conundrum. You, yeah, I'm sitting pretty good right now. He burned up all his damn resources, gotten all greedy and shit. He got super greedy first turn. Like really, nigga? You, I, he, he got so greedy with it. You thought he was gonna OTK me. So go ahead and search you. All right, all right, super greedy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it end episode. So I said meta, Saki, and then then we start getting into some actual duels. So sorry, we have to start off with you know videos like that. But hey, what you gonna do, right? So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Mind Like I said, the missing tomatoes. I don't like them, but I might have to just run them. I really, I might, I just might, and it sucks. You know, it really does suck that the wall chain is banned. I'm gonna miss it, but what are we gonna do, right? Hopefully they bring it back. Uh, I, I, I also apologize that it seems like every single episode of I'm in Y seems like I, I cry about my, I'm about the wall chain, but hey, what do you expect? You know, I'm using a fucking new bell deck that lets us send shit to the graveyard. I'm a fucking tier fucking 69 deck, and it helped. It helped. The fucking meta decks didn't even need fucking the wall chain, so I was like, let's just go ahead and ban this, because it just seems like all the wall chain does is just 
you know, I, I'll, I'll admit it. Multiple level, ch level chains? Saki. One? One? I've never seen anybody do anything Saki with one. You know, and like I said, you ban the gym lock. That's the most I've ever seen anybody do something Saki with wallet chain is gym lock, but you ban the gym. You know, if you didn't ban the gym and you ban the wallet chain, you can still do the gym lock because you can just run multiple gym and distribute it for your whole cost. And, you know, especially if you hit Shrit, it's your whole fucking cost right there and, you know, and lock your opponent out, run tour guide. But, hey. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm the Wise. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a deck that doesn't necessarily need, of course, the level chain, i.e. being uh, Cosmic Cubell, and I'm not sure what we're doing for the live video. Like I said, I could just do another webcam duel and test out other I'm the Wise decks that don't need a level chain as much, or uh, I can do my top five. I don't know. I'll think about it, but you'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, people.